sit comfortably in, cross your legs, or you can use your block if you need to under your hips, like this. Or you can sit in lotus posture. For lotus pose, if you've been practicing, you can try this. You want to bring your feet a bit closer and then hold your right foot in the both palms and then place it on your left thigh. Press your right knee down and hold your left foot, pull it up on your right thigh like this. Great. Lean forward a bit and sit comfortably with your back is straight. So it's a beautiful pose. Helps you to bind your base and trigger your energy to flow upwards towards the crown. Be seated, be comfortable. It doesn't matter which posture you're sitting in, as long as your back remains straight. For now, simply bring your shoulders above your hips. Welcome to Isha Dharma Yoga. The beginning, the beginning of your journey with me, as mine had began a few decades ago. So today I'm going to teach you the basic Isha Dharma Pranayama, which will help you in many facets of your being, not just your health, but also your overall mind and beyond your mind, your spiritual self. This pranayam I had realized quite a few years ago during my meditation, my uh, dhyana experiences of Sahastra Chakra. In brief, you will inhale as deep as you can. And then you hold your pause as long as you can. And you'll exhale as long as you can, slow and long. And you'll pause as long as you can. So that's the basic Ishadharma Pranayam, which I'm introducing to you. Very important that when you're inhaling, you're diaphragm expanding along with your tummy and when you hold your breath you hold to your comfortable limit not to the point you are feeling uncomfortable to your limit and the same way when you exhale longer exhalation which you can manage and you pause, you hold your breath again as long as you can. So that's the basic Ishadharma Pranayam. Not all days are the same. Sometimes you may be able to breathe in deep and pause longer and breathe out longer and pause again as long as you can. Right? And some days you may not be able to go to that extreme, but with practice, you kind of bring your equilibrium to a certain level of inhale, pause, exhale, pause. So very important, this pranayam is a yogic, uh, one of the yogic kriya pranayam which came to me in my meditation. So I'm sharing this with you to the world and through you I want everyone else around to practice this. And very effective this is for your longevity, for centering yourself, for calming, for de-stressing. It's for everybody. Everybody can practice this. I want this to go to not only you, but everyone, those who you are not aware of. Even teachers can uh, learn and practice this. I invite you to uh, join me in this journey and make your life beautiful, better, with awareness with inner awareness. It helps to relate to yourself and from that self you relate to the world outside. So 
we can start with this pranayam three times at least just like getting into the you know awareness of unconscious awareness of this creating this pattern in yourself breaking the old patterns of shallow or fast or rapid you know breath so more you breathe in deeper more it heals you better but more than that is the pause when you pause longer that's where the magic happens let's practice relax your palms on your knees index and thumb are on your knees roll your shoulders back close your eyes We'll do this pranayam for a couple of minutes. I want you to fully settle, relax your mind first. It's like taking your clothes off, going to shower, and before you shower, you want to get rid of all those external things, which is your external being to the world, your clothing for example. So you always like that, you want to get rid of all those anxieties, all those identities you have created around yourself. For now, I invite you to look within. Look within yourself. Is the self which you always looking for in others. Your beautiful self. Keeping your eyes closed. Take a deep breath. Feel the flow of your breath through your nostrils. Inhaling to the back of your throat, into your lungs, diaphragm, ribcage. Your tummy expanding like a balloon. At your navel. Pause your breath. Hold your breath. To your comfortable limit. Going beyond the mere counts. And exhale longer. Remember, it's your own breath, your own awareness. You could be breathing a bit faster. Or you can be breathing a bit longer at your own pace. Breathe out, breathe out, empty out, and pause again. Your navel is in at this aspect of exhalation. The belly button remains in towards your spinal cord. And when you're ready, you can breathe in again. Let your tummy come out. You can continue at your own pace. You don't have to follow my length of or shortness of breath. Follow your own pace. Where you ate, what are you experiencing? Hold your breath as long as you can.
and exhale. Exhale as long as you can. Breathe out. Breathe out. You're breaking those old patterns. And charging yourself with a new beginning. The beginning of your pranayam. Hold your breath again. Tummy remains in, belly button remains in. Find your pace, find your space. Repeat again, the last one. Breathe in. Hold your breath again. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Keeping your eyes closed. Inhale. Grab your palms, make it warmer. And cover down your eyes. Feel your eyes getting brighter. Exhale. Blow your fingers to your outer cheeks and open your eyes. So that's what, that was Ishadama Pranayam. You can practice it at least three times, multiple of three, like six, nine, twelve. But do it every day, same amount, and slowly increase. You can start with three first and then slowly. With your practice, maybe you can do four, five, and then six. The state of the six until the time you get comfortable and you start feeling the richness of energy in yourself, and then you can increase further like that. So start with three, then increment like four, five, six, stay there, and again continue like that. The second part of Vishuddharma yoga is bandha is very important. First is mula bandha. Mula bandha is not just merely holding your pelvic muscles and squeezing it in. Uh, it's beyond that, beyond that understanding, beyond that gross understanding. So those who are new to this bandhas, bandhas means lock. Engaging, holding, sealing. Sealing would be closer term for bandhas. Mula, first bandha, mula bandha. Mula means root, just like trees have roots. We all have our energetic roots as well in the body. Where this root channels the energy. From root, it passes on to the parts of your limbs, wherever your limbs, your body draws, your needs, attention. The energetic attention. Just like we all need attention, right? In your life, you must have noticed from your loved ones, from friends, family. Same way, parts of your body, you know, we are cellular beings. So awareness of entire being is important when you live in this house, in this God-given house. Or if you don't believe so, your body for now is your house. So. Mulabandha, it's like holding your pee. When you're passing water, you engage your pelvic floor, your pelvic muscles, and hold it as tight as you can. Right. From bottom of your spine, 
from perineum, your pelvic muscles, towards the rectus, towards the anus. You pull it in and hold it. During the practice, it, you may lose it, but keep bringing your awareness back to it. So that will connect and you will become natural with it in your practice. So that's the Mula Bandha. When you practice Mula Bandha enough, it triggers the second part, which is your lower abdomen, corresponding to your sacrum. Your sacrum, lower tummy, corresponding to that. So it triggers that and pulls it in as well. Right? So from navel all the way to your belly button, it gets pulled in. The second part is, it depends on your posture which you're practicing. Right. So, for example, if you're doing too much twisting, you know, uh, where your abdomen is squeezing in, so that will be more effective in those cases. Else, you'll be pretty much good with your first part, Mula Bandha. Okay. So, <clears throat> today uh, I wanted you to practice this Pranaya, Ishadharma Pranaya, and Ishadharma Mula Bandha. So what's the difference in Ishadharma Mula Bandha? As you understand by now, you want it, your Mula Bandha, you want it to trigger your energy flow to the parts of your body where it draws your attention. You can simply bring your awareness there. When you do Mula Bandha enough, it goes there. The energy flow happens there. So it brings down to the third aspect, which is your awareness. So yoga practice is not about, you know, doing circus-like postures, acrobatics, gymnastics. All of those faculties have taken a lot of inspiration, a lot of practices from yoga, but on a surface level, pretty much, what I've been noticing. Yoga is about awareness. So you could be doing any simple posture, like you're sitting cross-legged. Right? But your awareness is inward. Inward, where your body draws your awareness, your attention. Right? So third aspect is your awareness. Awareness is the key. Your energy, your prana flows wherever your awareness goes. And the fourth aspect, of your practice is you listen to your body, to the natural movements of your body, right? For example, your fingers can only bend here this, this much, right? So you don't want to force it all the way down and try to, you know, tear it, your joints. No, you don't want to do that. So every muscle, joint, uh, limbs have its own movement, natural movement. Your natural movement, some of you will be limited, but eventually you'll get that. Right? So you can bend your fingers, so that's natural movement. You can move to a certain angle, that's natural movement, right? Your thumbs can move, that's natural movement, right? So you follow the natural movements of your limbs. That's the foundation of alignment as far as yoga is concerned. It's not about 60 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, holding the angles, you know. It's about what your body allows at this present moment. And from there you grow. You could grow from 30 degree angle to 45, see, you know, further. Or you can even bring it 10 degree, 5 degree depending on the posture, right? So, natural alignment and natural geometry of your body. It has also, your body also has in built sacred geometry. I'll discuss it some other time. But for now, I want you to just listen to your body and find its natural alignment, natural movement. So, for this week and the week ahead, we will practice this classes 
in a progressive sequence, in a progressive moments. So in this journey, I want you to go from A to B to C to D as days pass by. I'll be also uploading, uh, as you can see if you're seeing me on YouTube, I mean in the past, not in the future. So you also find these videos on YouTube available for later practice in case if you're not right now online with me. And the YouTube ID is the same, it's youtube.com slash do yoga with Isha. On Instagram and also on Facebook. Same ID, do yoga with Isha or Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Okay, let's get it started now since you have the basic principles of uh, Isha Dharma Pranayama. And Mula Bandha, Dhyana Bandha, and the natural alignment. Energetic flow. Wherever your body draws your attention, your energy flows there. Joining Palm City Center, we'll begin with Ganesha Mantra today. It's an auspicious mantra, it's always Good practice to chant this mantra to overcome any obstacle in your practices or in your daily life. Close your fingers, close your palms, close your eyes. Feel your energies. Uniting in your heart your sun and moon energies, Surya and Chandra energies, Yang and Yin energies, through your fingers palms, bring your awareness to your third eye, between your eyebrows, send yourself there, Take a deep breath. brighter. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Move your fingers to the outer cheeks and open your eyes. Come back. All right, relax. And let's begin with plank pose. Index fingers are parallel to each other. Point forward. So this applies to all your postures when you're holding on your palms. When these fingers are parallel, 
to each other in shoulders or um, above your fingertips for this plank pose. Turn your elbows facing back. Lock your knees this right. Stay there for a bit and practice. One full Ishadharma Pranayama. Mula Bandha first. Take a deep breath. Pause your breath. Exhale. You can be breathing faster, that's fine. You can repeat it. Pause your breath again. Great. Now inhale. Exhale to do down dog. Engage your fingers, engage your palms, or engage your toes, balls of your feet. Maintain your arches and outer edges of your feet. Take a deep breath again. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Great. Inhale, move the plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, in the plank. Exhale, in the down dog. Inhale, the plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Now, bend your knees down the mat and walk your right foot forward. Fingers toes aligned. Tip of your big toe and fingertips are aligned. Engage your left toes on your feet and let your pelvis sink forward, down towards your heel. Raise both hands, lift your chin up and roll back. And again, repeat, Ishtadrama Pranayam. Breathe in, pause. Exhale. Pause. And come back. Beautiful. So this is the way you can do practice your Ishadama Pranayam with your asanas. With practice, you'll get there. It will improve, it will blossom. Take your right foot out. Base of your palms and right heel are aligned. Turn your left knee out. So left knee and left palm are aligned. Good. So if you might want to use blocks, so keep it handy around. You stretch your left knee straight. Anchor your right foot and turn your right knee a bit more out, away from your right shoulder. And see if you can climb your elbows down below your shoulders on your mat or on your block like this. Again, breathe in. Pause your breath. Mulabandha, guys. Practice Mulabandha. You should learn Mulabandha. Exhale. Pause again. Your breath may be shorter, but that's fine. With practice, it will come to you. It will get better. Great. Now bend your left knee down on the mat and walk your elbows a couple of inches further on your mat. Or you can use a block under your left forearm and turn your right knee a bit more out. Like this. And stretch your right arm, straighten your right elbow if you can. Bend your left knee back. Reach out your right palm holding your left foot. 
if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Just keep your right palm on your right knee there. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, bring your foot close to your back. Close to your hips. Click it. Release. Bring your right palm a front anchor right palm. Dark knee balancing with your left knee and back. We're going to walk your palms back, belly your shoulders, and take your right foot back. Very nice, guys. You're doing great. Moving to plank pose again. You stretch your knees. Take a deep breath. Exhale, down ball. Lock your knees straight. Bend your knees down the mat and walk your left foot forward between your palms, fingers to the line. Your left knee is right above your left ankle. Come up. Take your palms on your waist and anchor your right foot back. Right toes on your foot and let your pelvis hips sink forward down towards your left heel. Lift your chin up. Raise the both hands. Look up at your pulse, take a deep breath, hold your breath. Mbulu Bandha, practice engaging your core. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And come back. Bring your palms down below your shoulders. So, all you in one full set of Ishadana Praya, you could multiply that, you can do it twice also for the amount of time you're holding the posture. So it really varies person to person, right? And some of you even would be able to breathe in longer, you know, and hold longer, and exit longer, hold your breath longer, pause your breath longer. So, with your practice, it will improve. For now, if it's shorter, you can repeat it. Instead of one set, you can do two sets also. But find your limit. Don't overdo it. Don't hold too long where you feel suffocated. You know, keep it pleasant. Take your left foot back. Turn your left knee out a bit, away from your left shoulder, and turn your right knee out. So right knee and right palm are one. Bend your elbows down below your shoulders, or you can use your blocks again under your forearms. Like this. Stretch your right knee straight. Take a deep breath. Hold the breath. Exit longer. Hold your breath again. Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha. Practice Ishadharma Mula Bandha. As you close the gateway at the bottom, the door at the bottom, the energy channels, you can channel it with your awareness to your limbs. Wherever your posture draws your attention. And bring it down. Bend your right knee down. And then walk your right elbow a bit further. You can even use your block under your right forearm. Place your left palm on your left knee. And push your left knee out. Turn more out. Take a deep breath, pause, exhale, pause. Good. 
You can sit down or you can bend your right knee. Grab hold of your foot. Grab hold of your foot with your left palm, your right foot. If you can't manage it, you can keep your left palm on your left knee. Breathe in. Pause. And try to bring your heel closer to your back. Feel your right quad. Exhale. Pause. Breathe. Now, let your right foot back. And take your left hand forward. Anchor your left arm front. Diagonally balancing your right knee back. Mula Bandha. Engage your core. Breathe in. Pause. Hold your breath. Exhale. Pause again. Hold your breath again. And come back. Walk your left knee back. Good. Engage your fingers, engage your palms. Move into plank. Take us down low. Place your right foot between your palms. Like this. Good. Anchor your left toes. And come over and do lunge pose. Raise both hands. Index and thumb are touching together. Bend your left knee. Close down to your mat. Almost touching your mat. But off your mat, your left knee. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Place your right palm on your right foot. Take a deep breath. Stretch your left knee straight and exhale. Twist towards right. Hook your left elbow or tricep, the back of your outer right thigh, grip it there, palms in your center of your heart. Take a deep breath. Feel the other. Hold your breath. Exhale, long breath. Pause. Come back. Bring your palms down to your shoulders. Take a deep breath. And stretch your right knee straight. Engage your left heel down on your mat. Hips are squared. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Bend your right knee forward. Breathe in. Exhale down. Place the left foot forward between your palms. Fingers toes aligned. Bend your right knee close down to your mat. Come over again. Do Lunge pose. Bend your right knee, close it down to your mat, off your mat. Find your balance. Take a deep breath. Find your focus. Index and thumb are touching together. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. Feeling great. Place the left palm on your left side, take a deep breath. Exhale, twist. Stretch your right and straight, hook your right elbow or tricep or outer armpit at the back of your outer left thigh. 
If you can't manage it at all, you can always improvise, like in palm. You can bring your right palm down to your right shoulder. Or you can use a block there. Breathe. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Bring your palms down with your shoulders, take a deep breath. And exhale. And stretch your left knee strike. Hips are square. Heels are aligned. Freely posture, wherever it draws your attention. Feel your presence there. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe in. Pause. Bend your left knee forward. Take a deep breath. Exhale down both. Now, bend your both knees on your mat and place your right foot forward. We're going to do some legs. So I want you to get your blocks handy in your sights and then move your hips back and place your right foot from top. Slip your right heel forward and place your blocks under your palms like this. Find your balance, square your buttocks. And stretch your left knee straight. Both knees are straight. Most of you should be able to manage it using your blocks. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale longer and push your right knee forward. Pause. Hold your breath. Hips are square. Bend your left knee down on your mat. And walk the right knee back. Place the left foot forward. Like this. Bridging your palms. And then move your back, flex your left foot from top, and transition into your half a split again. So, first you want to make sure your left knee is straight and push your left foot forward. Flex your left foot from top like this. Anchor your right toes under your foot and stretch your left leg forward as further as you can. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale. Slip your left leg further more. Hips are square. Pause. Bend your right knee down on the mat and walk your left knee back. Keep your blocks aside. Come back and do plank pose. Take the down dog. Bend your knees down. Relax in child pose. Make sure very comfortable. Relax there. Stay there for a bit. You can even use a block if you need to under your forehead. Palms beside your feet. Grab your shoulders. Relax your neck. Make sure very comfortable.
and come back. Have some water. Let's do a short break. some feedback guys I'm gonna turn on the comment briefly good morning how's the practice going how are you finding the pronoun Esther Dora Gwen Yes, you're following up? Give me some... Good, thanks. Great. Fanning. Hi, Fanning. Okay, so you can always go back to the video later on to watch the full version. Those who are just joining in. Jenny. Great, Jenny. Esther. Alright, so I'm turning on the comment. Let's continue. Okay, so keep off sight, uh, stand, and let's do three pose, reach asana. Feet together, toes together, look forward, and bend your right knee on. Grab hold of your ankle, and place your foot, sole of your right foot, in your inner upper left thigh. Join your palms to the center of your heart, Find a balance. Draw your navel in. Lock your left kneecap. Breathe in. Pause. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And come back. Release. For some of you, this practice may look very simple, but it's very healing, very effective. As you pass by with your practice for days ahead, you'll notice your body begins to unfold, open up. It has really helped me in my own uh, journey so far in yoga practice with lots of ups and downs, quite a few accidents I had, and it kept me together, kept me growing, getting better with my self-healing, with my awareness. So I want you to have that benefit with your practice. Bend your left knee out and place your left foot, the sole of your left foot at your inner upper right thigh. Draw your navel in, lift center of your chest higher and join your palms together. Maintain inner arch, inner edges of your right foot. Look forward, find your balance. Look ahead at any one point and find your focus there. Retaining in your unconscious self is just begin to still your conscious self. Your unconscious mind opens up. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Practice Mola Bandha. Release. Come back. Great. Let's continue. 
So sit down. And straighten your legs. Both legs. Like this. Pull hips back. Bring your sit bones down here. We're going to do Paschimottanasana. Now, some of you might need a strap. So, or a small towel. You can always use it to loop it around your feet. If you can reach your feet, you can grab both of your big toes. You can take some little finger and thumb. If you don't have towel, you can always bend your knees like this and hold your big toes. And then slip your heels forward. Lock your knees straight. Expand your rib cage. Take a deep breath. And exhale, fold forward. Lock your knees straight. It's as straight as you can. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale longer. Move deeper into your pose and hold your breath again. Take a deep breath and come back. And release. Now, you stand up on your knees. You can use a towel if you like, or some cushions, soft cushion. Place it under your knees if you have sensitive knee joints. Cut your toes under your feet. Place your palms. On your buttocks. Tighten your buttocks, hip muscles. Roll your shoulders back and bring your elbows closer. Lift your chin up. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. You can just sit there or you can reach out your right fingers, palm to your right heel, left fingers, palm to your left heel and point your feet back if you can. Breathe. Push your pelvis forward. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Try to bring your hips right above your knees. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And come back. Beautiful. Now, from here we'll move to Paribhasa. So take your right foot out, so right foot and left knee are aligned. Place your right palm on your right leg, like this. Turn your face towards left, raise your Left hand up. Breathe in. As you exhale, slide your right fingers down towards your ankle, or you can grab hold of your block and place it under your right palm. More you bend on your right side, more you stretch left side of your trunk. Breathe in. Pause again. Exhale. Pause again. And come back. Switch on the side. Turn your left foot out. So left foot, left heel and right knee are aligned. You can again place a cushion if you need to under your right knee there. Place the left palm on your left leg and turn your fist 
towards right and you stretch your arm beside your right ear, take a deep breath and actually bend the left side of the trunk. Place your left palm further down towards your ankle or you can use your block again under your left palm. Or even you can touch your fingers down on a mat, your left fingers. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath. And come back. Beautiful. Very nice, guys. You. I feel you. Keep your practice on. Doesn't matter what weather it is. Sunshine or no sunshine, gray clouds. But you will shine with your practice. I want you to shine with your practice. Pull your hips back. This world needs lots of sunshine from your heart, from your soul, from your Atman. Yoga gives us that expression. To sign within and without. Now, place your left foot, your right knee, and right foot on top of your back. Good. Pull your hips back and bring your sit bones down. You stretch your spine, you stretch your lower back. Relax your groins, bring your palms up front, breathe in, and exhale. You can use your block if you need to, under your forehead. You can place it vertically in line or flat or sideways. Breathe in and hold the breath. Exhale longer and then hold your breath. And come back. Place your right foot to your left knee and left foot on top of the right. Bring your palms to the front, take a deep breath, and exhale fold. Take a deep breath and pull the breath. Exhale. And hold the breath again. Come back. Thank you for joining me in this journey. This is the beginning and I look forward to see you all as days passes and as you grow further in your practice. After this class, I want you to take a couple of minutes Shavasana, lying down on your mat. I'll see you soon. Namaste.